Canadian International Demining Corps, based in Sydney, Nova Scotia, is one of the best dog training organizations in the world. They have never had a dog killed or injured in the field. One particular time I was uh, coming back home in an airport and I had one of the local people at the airport that I had met before in the field come up to me and thank Canadians for all the help that they've given them and being able to let their kids play in the fields. Typical day, it starts uh, very early. During the summertime it's like at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning or 5. During winter time we start a little bit later but still before the sun gets up. An average size North American football field will take us with dogs, uh, three dogs, three handlers, uh, approximately three days. Uh, whereas the uh, conventional uh, manual demining, it's prodder and uh, metal detectors, it would probably take you at least three months. Everything is uh, based on the ball. So his desire for the ball makes him working. While he's working in minefield, he's uh, looking for the, any kind of smell of explosive or any fragment of mine because he knows that uh, if he finds it, he's going to get the ball. Actually, all that process is a game for him, a play. So uh, today we were working over there. We set up one motivation line, and in that motivation line, we put a piece of plastic or any fragment of the uh, any other mine to test our dog before we move in a real box. So if he finds that piece of plastic in motivation line, we reward the dog, and uh, later on we go to the real box. Uh, while, while working in a box, if he finds anything, uh, he's not going to get reward in a box. We go back again to motivation line to reward him. So that's the process it goes. The rules and regulations of operation are so strict and so well monitored that we've never had a dog injured or killed in any of the work that they've done. You are in the middle of minefield, so you have to be careful, you have to be very cautious. At the same time, you, you know that uh, you are going to provide other people when you clear that to come in that uh, certain area. So it's a mixture of feelings, but uh, makes you happy and proud when you finish your task. When we leave uh, minefield, you have an excellent feeling that you, you are leaving behind yourself some cleared area and people are normal people tomorrow are going to come in that land to, to work for their life, to, to have their children playing around. It's excellent, kind of noble feeling you have. Last year, schools, interact clubs, and youth across Canada contributed to the training of a mine detection dog, which the students at Crestwood School in Edmonton named Trooper. This year, we're asking all Canadians, particularly Rotary Clubs, to support the training of five dogs named in memory of five extraordinary Canadians.